Hey, Tai here, so welcome to the Viatech channel. So CES 2021 just started and started very, very big. In just the first day, we saw many different new groundbreaking technologies, like new headsets with new tech for displays, new haptic gloves, new air glasses, and also new controllers slick for the, we don't know when it's gonna come, Samsung VR headset. So let's discover everything together. Let's get into it. All right, so I want to start with C-Real. They just unveiled a VR and AR headset with a particular technology for the display because over here we're using light fill technology. Now, it's not the first time that we hear about it and what's particular about this and why it's so much better than the regular displays that we used to use in our VR headsets or AR headsets, it's the fact that this headset can reproduce the light not just like on a plain uh, object like on a display, but actually you can interpret the light like you actually will see it in real life. So you will understand for real the sense of depth with the ability to actually focus on different planes of the same image, like we do in reality, of course. Now, I don't want to go super in depth about virgins, accommodance, and also multifocal or barifocal and stuff like that, because I already made a video about it, by the way, you can check it out over here. There's a lot of information, so you can really understand what is going to be the future of the VR headsets. But this is a really different approach, because one of the big problems with the light field is that you can't really make a display that has a lot of FOV. So, uh, for example, in this AR headset that they just unveiled, Veil, we have an FOV of around 60 degrees with a resolution of a thousand by a thousand. Now the great thing here is that you can focus on every part of the image and that will make the holograms look much more real and in place than any other display that we have available right now on the market. But the thing that is very interesting for me is the new VR headset that is actually unveiled. Well, this one used two different displays at the same time. We have in the middle covering around 40 degrees the light field technology display. So that means that when we look at straight to something well uh, we can see the different part in focus and uh, interpret that object exactly like it is in reality instead the outer display is going to be a regular display that we have in vr like 1600 by 1440 lcd display so a very high resolution so everything will just feel in place but when you focus on something you're going to be able to have your eyes actually respond in the same way as they will do in reality so uh, less eye strain of course and of course the sense of depth now, it's actually cool because they took many uh, through the lenses to actually make this video. Uh, our series became a uh, mainstream, apparently. And well, you can see in these videos as well that the focus actually moved between the object and not because it's possible. Instead, in the usual through the lenses that we do using regular headsets, it's not really possible to have them focus just a part of the image or an object because, well, we are on the same plane when it comes to screen. So of course I can wait to see more from Serial that just received 7.7 .7 million uh, investment. So good luck to them and let's hope they're gonna come with something for us very very soon. But another thing that is very very interesting is just got announced today are actually the new Sense Gloves. Now this company is not new to haptic gloves, they were actually working from two years on the DK1 that was the first prototype and well this is finally their final version, the Sense Glove Nova. Cool thing is they work with every standalone headset and they have a three different kind of feedback. The first one is resistance. So when you actually grab an object in VR, they're gonna give a resistance with this uh, little string that you can see in the back. They're gonna pull back your finger. So uh, of course, you're not gonna be able to uh, finish the movement as you want, but you're gonna feel really the object that you're touching. The second one is the regular and usual vibration feedback because, of course, we have it. We have it in video games since forever, so it's something that, of course, uh, we still have over here. So uh, when you interact with something or something touches you, well, you're going to have a vibration, so a feedback in different spots of the hands, of course, to understand where they touched you. And the other thing is, of course, the tracking. Of course, a complete tracking for the fingers and, at the same time, 60F tracking for the gloves themselves. Now, it's not Really clear are they gonna have it because I don't see any sensor outside there's no ring there's no infrared light or stuff like that so maybe we're gonna have to use the HTC tracker but they also say that they're gonna be compatible with every Seno and headset so is it something integrated in that that they find a solution maybe magnetic tracking or something like that to understand really the position and space well for that we're gonna have to wait of course but I have to say that from the beginning they looked absolutely stunning they're easy to put on so that's a good thing they're futuristic and they cost just five thousand dollars so Yikes. 
But let's keep going. We had the previous leak from the previous video because Lenovo just announced the A3, their new AR glasses. The particular thing about this, they have an integrated XR1 processor. So uh, the generation prior, the one that we have on the Oculus Quest 2, for example, but they also have the ability to connect to a smartphone or of course to a laptop. So you're gonna be able to see up to five displays over there. There are two fisheye camera for the tracking. There's an eight megapixel camera and the displays here are 1080p displays. Now it's not the highest resolution, but if here we have also the waveguide, it could be a good thing because uh, you know, there you don't have a really screen door effects or stuff like that. We're talking about an AR environment. So if it's enough to actually read on a monitor and being targeted to actually have five monitors up, uh, there, anywhere you want in the room, uh, hopefully it's something that they thought about. So for me, this is really very, very good. We have no information about the price, but we know they're gonna arrive in spring 2021. So pretty soon this year. But let's go now to some speculation stuff because Upload VR uh, this morning posted something about an headset that we didn't see uh, much for the last year. I actually made a leak more than a year ago, and then it went everything completely silent. We're talking about the new headset from Samsung and apparently there's a new patent, uh, new images of the new controllers. Now, uh, this is kind of odd because we saw for the HP Reverb G2, for example, uh, where the controllers are very similar to the Oculus Quest 2 controllers and a part of the Windows Mixed Reality. Samsung before was part of Windows Mixed Reality, but with these new controllers, well, uh, we're starting to doubt it a little. Probably they're going completely with their own software and it's very interesting. The ring for the tracking because instead of being on top, like we saw uh, with every other headset on the market, uh, this time they go around the wrist. So very nice to see that they're actually trying something new. The same, a little the half-baked and very similar to what we saw with the Pimax Soar controllers in the past. So uh, I don't know if it, this is real. Uh, for me, it's a little weird because we didn't hear anything from Samsung. Uh, the CES event today didn't mention even once uh, VR, so I don't think they're gonna unveil anything in these days, but hey, a man can dream, right? Uh, I really hope they're gonna come back to the market because they had the best displays uh, two years ago with the Samsung Odyssey, uh, Odyssey Plus, uh, then the technology like kept progressing, but on the LCD side, uh, I really want to see something from them with the OLED technology, AMOLED that are so good doing. So we can have back like a super dark blacks and of course great colors with it. But yeah, uh, that was all pretty much. There was also a little smart glass from a TLC, nothing interesting. Uh, one of those glasses will just display a big TV in front of you. So not really AR and stuff like that. But hey, if you're interested in that, well, TLC uh, is a good company for displays, just a 1080p though. So not uh, the best out there. Uh, but anyway, I think that was very interesting this first day of C. Yes, uh, we saw many different stuff. It's a little particular because you know uh, you are not there in person. I always wanted to go to CES, and then two years ago something happened. I couldn't last year. Well, uh, we know what happened this year. Well, it's just digital, so fantastic. <laughs> but hey, tonight we're gonna have the Sony showcase, and probably they're gonna show their spatial display uh, that looks pretty amazing. But in case we're gonna talk more about tomorrow, if there's more stuff coming up and uh well i think that was all a uh, very interesting day let me know what you think about it in the comment below are you ready for light field technology to get in vr i really hope that it's gonna become a thing uh, but they really need to figure out how to make those headsets much smaller than what they are right now anyway guys that's all as always if you liked the video like if you did like the video like subscribe to the channel for more vr tech and if you really love the channel the so join button down there Let's on them further, also the Patreon, prior access to videos, and at the same time, we have t-shirts, sticker masks, 2020 item, 21 item number one. Uh, as always, again, like, dislike, subscribe. See you guys next video. Thanks for watching. Ciao.